This video is going to show you how you can quickly identify any duplicate data in a data frame using the janitor package. There's lots of reasons you may get duplicate data. It may be legitimate data, it just happens to have exactly the same scores on a questionnaire or something like that. However, it could be, it could be um, a data processing issue from earlier on when you were compiling your data, or it could be something a bit more problematic, like if you've got an online questionnaire or something like that, and there's a bot doing ballot stuffing. This is the data frame we're going to look at, nice simple one here. We've got IP addresses and we've got responses to a question. Now, we could eyeball this and identify problems, but of course, often we're dealing with huge data sets and we can't do that. What we're going to do is we're going to see if there's any duplicate, complete duplicate lines of data. And then also specifically, are there any duplicate IP addresses? Now I'm using IP addresses because it's a good example of the type of thing you may want to look for duplicates of. However, it could be another thing that you wouldn't expect any duplicates of. For example, it could be an email address or so on. So we're going to use the janitor package for this. And again, of course, you'll have to install janitor if you haven't already done so and then pull it out of your library. The first thing I'm going to do is just see if there is any duplicate entire lines of data in our data frame. So I just use the get dupes command and then for this data frame that I'm looking at, that's just called df. So I run that. And as you can see, it gives us a little message. No variable names are specified using all columns. So this is looking for duplicates of all columns. So you can see it's about two. And this is what those lines of data are. It's this IP address and the responses are all completely identical and the duplicate counts is two. There's two duplicate lines of data. Now, it's not that likely that you're gonna get completely duplicate entire lines of data. So what we could do instead is we can be more specific and we can specify columns we wanna find duplicates for. So again, we just use get dupes with our data frame and then we say, IP address. So this is going to tell me if I've got duplicate IP addresses in my data frame. It's not going to be interested in duplicate um, question one, Q2, Q3, and Q4, just for IP addresses. So if I run this now, there we go. Now you can see the same one as before has appeared there, which was the full duplicate. But now we can see this IP address appears twice in the data set though it's got different results. So it's really easy using this command to be able to identify any problematic duplicates within your data set. You can do it for entire rows, or you can be much more specific and just look for duplicate information within a single column.